Hello everyone. So today we're at a kimono place because we're gonna try on the Japanese traditional dress. And so we're at Ashima, like right behind us. We're surrounded by kimonos and yukatas. I will explain the difference between a kimono and yukata later on, so tune in. <laughs> We have chosen our kimonos. Part of our plan, like they do our hair in like a cute updo, and we get a bag and the shoes and the whole fit. So it's gonna be a great time. We're gonna turn into those Japanese girls. Tourists and college Tourists. Yeah, well, I mean, I already am a Japanese girl, so I don't know where I was trying to go with that. But it's gonna be a great time. These are the steep. I wish I could show you how steep they are. They're like the size of my hand. A little, a little scary. Feet don't fit. Going up to the third floor to get our hair done. Second floor is for men. We have made it. So we're gonna get our hair done. trying to ask us which lipstick and then she has food packed in her bag she's all ready to go <laughs> but if that isn't Zoe I don't know what is Lauren's getting her hair done I'm getting mine done before straight this is so exciting last time I got my hair done was for proms it's very pretty no actually it's not yet <laughs> We gotta go down the, the scary stairs and something that's already restricting. We're at Arashiyama area now. Right here is the river. They have the bamboo forest, the river, the bridge, <gasps> I want to food. I in the bamboo forest. Yeah, and hopefully there's not gonna be too many people because look at the weather. It's been raining for the past few days. Check the weather, it's supposed to not rain today, so hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on invisible wood. But let me hit you with some fun facts about kimonos. Fact one. Fact one, <laughs> numero uno. Kimono literally means thing to wear. The kanji for ki is like to wear. to wear. And mono means thing, thing. or object. So thing to wear. Fun fact number two, this thing right here is called an obi. Um, it like wraps around the kimono because this is the kimono the thing the very long Japanese dress and the obi can be arranged in a lot of different ways So this is Lauren's She has a cute little ribbon and as well as the front they kind of Tucked it in for some parts to show the other side of the fabric, which yeah. is yellow mine is the same style but different colors Ooh, Very pretty My whole fit I can't go down because very, very restrictive. That's why, oh, fact number three. Um, we wear kimonos only on very special occasions because it's hard to wear. So it takes forever to wear and it's kind of hard to move in compared to the Western typical dress that we would normally wear. So we would only wear kimonos on like weddings, seijushiki, seijushiki so which is coming of age. So when you turn 20, New Year's. So yeah, very, very special occasions. Thank you. Oh, and here are our shoes. Our socks are a little weird. It's like our toe and then the rest of our Maya fingers. So this is the famous bridge, but this is Katsuda River. I'm pretty sure like an emperor crossed it and it's called Togetsukyo. Getsu means moon and then I think when the emperor was in the middle like we saw a full moon and it was pretty so that's why it was named Togetsukyo but this bridge is really famous. If you come here in the autumn this is so pretty because it's all red. Winter sometimes it's all white. And then in the spring it actually the cherry bush is all it's all pastel pink. Yeah this is all these are all cherry blossom trees the trees that we're passing by so like all of this would be pink 
in the spring. And now it's summer, so it's all green. Japan has very, very distinct seasons. Too distinct for me. We're currently walking in the center main street area. Ooh, look. Jinrikisha. What's a jinrikisha in English? Person pulling a carriage. <laughs> but you'll see a lot of that in Kyoto for sure. But the main area has so much food everywhere and it looks so good. And I don't know about you, but maybe because they tightened this thing so much, the obi, it's making me real hungry. <laughs> like, I'm so hungry right now. So I'm probably gonna eat something soon. A few minutes later. We have gotten a sample of a very bougie cookie. Mod brush. 100 yen per cookie, basically. Do you like it even though you don't like green tea? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. Approve even if you don't like green tea, usually. <laughs> it's really good. There's just a bunch of food places. Paradise. Paradise. Now we're at the kimono forest. This place at night is really pretty because they light up the whole street. Right now it's still pretty, but it's prettier at night, in my opinion. We are entering bamboo forest territory. Okay, update. So we're by the bamboo forest now. There's a small little park. I'm also squatting because it's on a rock right now. Yeah, place on a rock. But I mean, if you just go back. Oh my god. Why do I never think of that? <laughs> we're out of bamboo forest. Little update. We're having fun. It's been an hour since we changed into this. But most of the places that have it for cheap only allow you to rent it out for like 30 minutes to an hour. So, you know, like that's a little sketch. But this place was like Sunzing Ohaku, which is about like $32 US dollars, which isn't too bad. They do your hair and then they let you borrow it till the closing hours. So we have like four hours in total because we came a little late. But we get to just like frolic around yeah. and take pictures and eat and be tourists. That's great. It's nice because it's for all students. It's all, it's for all students, regardless of your country. You don't have to be going to a uni in Japan. Oh my god, I called it uni. <laughs> College, university. But no one calls it uni in America. No But everyone calls it uni. uni. So you look at her, she's shocked. Yeah. <laughs> but everyone calls it uni in countries besides America. Everywhere else. And when I first yeah. moved here, I was like, oh my god, it sounds like weenie. But, so I didn't want to say it, but Wait, now- what do you call it? College. College. We call it college. College is middle school in France. College is everything else in any other country. Except yeah. in the US, it's university. So, so it's confusing. But I vowed to not call it uni when I first moved here, but now I'm starting to say it. Of course. So, a little shocked, a little shocked. I'm always shocked when she says uni. College, not uni. Uni weenie. <laughs> but it works regardless of where you go to college. We are now entering a jinja, which is a shrine. Well, wow, there's a lot of people in here. But this shrine, Nonomiya Shrine, is literally right next to the bamboo forest. This shrine is for couples because it's like for relationships. So all around us are couples. And we're single. <laughs> See, literally, there's a heart. Permanent resident Singleville. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Um, Zoe is currently getting interviewed by Japanese students. It's happening. This happens often if you come to a tourist site. Taste test. Zoe got packaged anindofu, which it's is like. It's not anindofu, it's anindofu jelly. Jelly, anindofu jelly. And anindofu is. Look at her, she's almond, totally judging. Almond panna cotta. Yeah. yeah, almond panna cotta, basically. It's more Chinese than Japanese. It's more Chinese than Japanese. I guess it's good. It has I guess it's good meat. It's very sweet. Okay. That's but anindofu. it has very almondy flavor too. Who wants to try? I do. Thanks. Right? It's not bad, Thank but you. it's not what I thought it would be. Can I try it? Mm. It has a texture of squeezable jelly. Yeah. But the taste of anindofu 
And I don't like it together. I mean, it's, it's like, not bad. It's like if you have a weird craving to eat onion dofu, but you want to want it to be portable, then that's good. It's not panna cotta. Sweet almond jelly. So do we get this as a yay or nay? Ah, nay, I would say Yeah. I would say nay that it's not onion dofu. Not worth if you want onion dofu. Oh no, it's sprinkling. It's raining a lot now. So we're standing underneath. This is called amayadori in Japanese. Oh my god, it's like hardcore raining. This is what happens when you try to be tourists during monsoon season. Yeah. So this is our snack, I guess. So we're at, what is this place called? RX Cafe. Yes. EX Cafe, wrong alphabet. We're at EX Cafe. Um, Lauren and I both got green tea. It's warm green tea. With this and this. Zoe is not a fan of green tea, so she has a soy milk banana latte. latte. We're also sharing warabi mochi, which is but cold mochi. I'm really bad at explaining food. It's like soft mochi. Soft mochi, there we go. It's coated in green tea powder and then kinako, which is roasted soybean powder. Bone apple tea. And inside this, we have we have mochi as well. And azuki. And azuki. Where's azuki? It's somewhere in. Oh, there we go. There's azuki. Now we're sampling the way. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm, I like chocolate. Right in front of the bridge in the chocolate store, they give you samples. <laughs> I'm a sucker for packaging, and all the packaging mm -hmm. here is so beautiful. It just makes me want to buy it just for the packaging. I saw on this guy. Hey. It was raining so hard about an hour ago, but now it's blue skies and the sun and a good time. So it's the end of the day now, but we had a great time. And another fun fact, fun fact number five, I think I forgot to say. I was I was thinking about it while I was walking, but you know Aloha shirts from Hawaii. Yeah, this looks similar to it, doesn't it? Yeah, I know what you're thinking, it does. <laughs> but it's because when Japanese people first moved to Hawaii, um, they used their old kimonos and made that into shirts. So, the Aloha iconic shirts that you see and know and love today originated from Japan. Did you know that? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> but, yeah, we went to the bamboo forest, looked at the kimono forest, took some pictures, had some great food, Got a lot of samples, and I mean a lot of samples. A lot, a lot of samples. Yeah, I think Free. the fact that we're wearing this, I don't know, the people probably thought we were gonna spend money and actually buy souvenirs because we look like major tourists, but like we live here so we don't really need souvenirs, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but now let's do a last outfit of the day moment. All right, let's start with Zoe. Zoe here, the Frenchie. Here we have a yellow, yellow with red flowers, stripes, her hair. Uh, we have a green flower in a ponytail. Um, her ribbon is red and blue, and she looks fabulous. And here we have contestant number two, Lauren. Dark blue. I'm really bad at describing things. I should not. Navy blue with uh, plum flowers. Plum flowers. There we go. A close kind of up. Yes, plum flowers. And then we have a very red. vivid red with a contrasting gold, not yellow, but gold print. This is not green. No. That is definitely gold. That's green. Definitely. Okay, leave it in the comments if it's green. <laughs> it's green. Every other thing that you can vote right here is it green or yellow? Yeah. I mean, not yellow, it's or gold. gold. All right, turn around. We have a hair piece right over here. Very cute. Her hair is braided with a bun and a little ribbon as well and contestant number, number three, three aka the winner <laughs> oh my God. 
Okay, it's an emerald green vase. It's a with some white, white flowers white and purple flowers. Yeah, it's white chrysanthemum flowers with um, white dahlias. Here we are. <laughs> got some leg action. <laughs> Going on. Uh, but then we got a purple obi with some pink with some flowers and then pink contrasting color it's been a pretty the bow goes with the obi because and then the we got some pretty flower. not lighting's not good great oh here we go we can get that hair action going some beautiful hair oh my god we didn't feel all the shoes that's so shocking, but we are all very comfortable. This looks uncomfy, right? Yeah, it looks. It looks uncomfy. really uncomfy, but is so comfortable. I could run in these. Yeah, these are more comfortable than heels. Show off our purses. We also got some purses to fit our phones and our wallets. Very and square lipstick. purses. Yes. And food. And food. Food for Zoe. But that was for today. Arashiyama, come visit because it's fun.